minutes. For every one hour of regular exercise, you extend your lifespan by two hours. It's Get Fit Friday. It's time to get fit before the weekend hits. Before the weekend hits. It's time to get fit now. It's time to get fit now. Fit now. Fit now. We're big now. I'm so excited. What's up, Stu Crew? How about that factoid? For every one hour of regular exercise that you get, you extend your lifespan by two hours. Magically, exercise increases your life. And that's something I learned uh, when I was doing some spokesperson work for the American Diabetes Association. Anyway, on to some Stu Crew news. Uh, you guys have been sending in, and I've been feeling the love from these wall pictures. Uh, and I'll be putting together another music video like I did last week. But for today, check this one out. The Girl Scouts sent in this picture from Broadway Mall in New York. Love you guys. Have you ever seen such a cute picture as that? Also, a lot of you guys have been writing into the show asking any question from like, a, how do I get abs? Uh, what do I eat to lose weight? What do I want to avoid eating? When do I do cardio? All different types of questions like that. All those things are pretty much answered in my book and DVD, Fitness Made Simple, The Power to Change Your Body and Life. And I know a lot of you have gotten it already. Um, so please, uh, those of you who do have it, write in the comments below how you're finding everything. If you're having any obstacles that we can work together in achieving success and getting fit. And for those of you who don't have the book and DVD yet, go to fitnessmadesimple.com. Go check that out. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get on to the fit tip of the week. And it's about making better bad choices. When I'm eating low calorie and trying to lose fat, I usually have a cheat day, or as I call it, an eat day, every week. Cheating can be a good thing. It's fun and it can also be guilt-free if you know a few easy tricks. Now here are a few tips on how to make better bad choices when the urge to cheat comes your way. First, always take baby steps. Don't make yourself miserable by eliminating your favorite cheat foods altogether. Instead, eat them less frequently or have a smaller portion than you normally would. Another tip, have a natural day. When I was trying to break out of my fast food, burger, and chocolate diet and get leaner, every other or every third day I would make a natural day where I'd eat only natural foods. Raw vegetables, a few fruits, protein sources like chicken breast, and good fats like raw nuts. The protein and vegetables really filled me up, decreased my cravings for the junk, and help me get leaner more quickly. Your body processes natural foods more efficiently than anything made by man. Keep cheat foods out of the house. If I have to go out to satisfy my craving, it gives me a moment to consider if it's really worth the trip. Nine times out of 10, it isn't. Keep in mind, if you are trying to get over a craving, it generally takes about four to six weeks. Don't beat yourself up during that time period. Follow these tips and you'll be surprised when your favorite cheat food is a distant memory. Hey, I'm Jessica Lee, and you're watching New Media Stew with John Basedow. Get chunked! What do you want to say to the fine folks? This is the stew crew that you're talking to. I love you guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Much love and respect. <laughs>